Okay, it's a quick video on how to bead on your buckskin bracelet that you just sewn on. You can almost start from the center, or you measured here, just three inch, six inch bracelet, but then you gotta add extra for the buckskin to go here, or if you measure three inches here, three inches here, do a difference, mark it. I marked it here, center. So that's where I'm gonna start by running my glover through it. Imaging size, 13 beads. Use 11s, delicas, whatever bead size you work with. I got my glove right here, 12. Run it through. I guess good angle to go with. And just like that. Yeah, the first one. I know nine if it's across this, because I measured it before. So what I'm gonna do is pick up nine beads. It's gonna hurt with the glower because they're short. Six, seven. <laughs> that color there to make nine. So bam, nine beads. Go to your center, find the opposite, and we'll go push up through. And it's to be hard to do, just bare hands. If you're a thimble or pliers, use that. Pull it through. Bam. And then be tied down. Just want to do the basic same thing. Find it. Go down. Put it back up. And then whatever pattern you want to do, you can do there. I don't even know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do something. I normally don't use shorts, short needles. For my regular longs, because this feels impossible to do for me. Yeah. A lot of my beads are really similar in color. And difficult for me to see. So, let's go through. Boom. Pull it through. Where you turn it down, you can adjust it to the center if you want, and then retain it. Pull. And just repeat the process if you're worried about it being straight from your beating. Sometimes it, you go too much on one side, you go too much the other way, but you can just get your ruler, pull it to the side, level the table or whatever you're beating on, and they'll show you how. If it's to this way, to that way, and how to, if you want to adjust forward or back. So just check that every now and then, so I'll keep your feet work straight, and just pull and push, push back and forth, tighten, and I'll keep your feet straight. And try to use the same size bead all the way through, and I'll keep the size all the way the same. But with seed beads, kind of, the beads are irregular. So, Dalekas are those Japanese beads. Would be really ideal for this. Like this. 
on the receipt. These are 13 or 15s. Also used for this kind of work. But that's basically how you do it. Back and forth. Just go through this way. Top side. Go down. Add your bead. Go around. Come back up. Go across. We don't try to go back and forth because it's kind of. You go this way, then you gotta move over, and it shows more of the string than it really needs to be. But we just do that. Do simple patterns. We don't try to go too extravagant. If you have to draw out your pattern, use paint, use piece of paper. Nine beads. Cut your beads first before you start drawing out your pattern. And that's it. Like, follow, subscribe, whatever they say. What you just saying that? Yeah. But if you like this, if you want more information on this, just comment. This should be on Instagram. Most good to follow me there. And that's it.